Hi, this is Ron Mitchup. Today on Hunter Call of Wild, we're on Hirschfeld. And I haven't been on this reserve for quite a long while. I think the last time I came on here was for Fallow Deer when I was making a guide for them. But today we're hunting for Canada geese. That's right. I want a diamond Canada goose. I've never had one. I've done detailed videos on Canada geese, but I've never had a diamond Canada goose. So I thought it's time to break that duck. Goose, I should say, but you get the pun. Anyway, this is where I'm located. I've got a ring of decoys around me, and we're hopefully going to get loads of Canada geese coming in. I'm going to be using the 22 LR. Now, you don't have to use a 22 LR. You can use shotguns, pistols, whatever you want to use, bows even. But I'm using the 22 LR because I like using it. And I use it every day, and I like to keep my eye in and get the distance ranged in and keep that familiar. And then you can shoot naturally as soon as you see something. It's really good for money as well. So if you're a new player, Canada geese, you get loads of books in the bank from shooting them. So, hopefully we get some come in. We should get loads circle overhead. I will go into this location in great detail at some point in the video. But we're just going to get hunting for now. I'm in my layout blind. The decoys will lure in the Canada geese from about 500 meters. So I don't even need to call. They'll just come straight in when they're flying over like this right what we're looking for is a level five canada goose so all the big fours i'm going to shoot because they're going to be gold so hopefully we maybe get some rare ones and we're looking for a level five a big heavy goose so at the minute we've got a gold in this flock now i've been meaning to come back to hirschfeld for quite a long while i've been thinking about it honestly once a week for about six months and I thought I need to get diamond geese from Hirschfeld and what it is last time I was on it I was after fallow deer and I spent two weeks not lying 12 hours a day every day for two weeks hunting fallow deer and what happened was I was making a fallow deer guy and I like to make my guides really detailed and know they work so it took me a week to get a diamond fallow deer hunting 12 hours a day seven days a week and then what happened as soon as I got it uh, it was the old style fallow rack. True racks fallow deer come out the very next day. <laughs> so I had to go back out and then do the same again for the uh, true racks fallow deer. So I spent two weeks solid on it and I think it put me off Hirschfeld for a little bit. So it's nice to return again. I feel refreshed and it's nice to be going for a Diamond Canada Goose because I haven't got one. And we could do with a few in Safari Safari Tree for Lodge. We're shooting golds at the minute and we're hoping to see a level five amongst one of these. You do get a lot of them, so you just have to keep pinging away at them. You can use a pistol, whatever weapon you want, like I was just saying, um, and it's good for money. You can build up a lot of cash really quick. But we're here for the trophies today, not for the money. But it does help. Nearly February the 9th, so console players, TOR in National Park, very close. I bet you're buzzing, I bet you can't wait. What are you going to go after? when you get on their console players let me know about it and there's also fixes and stuff in the release on February 9th so can't wait to uh, get that out there for the console players they're gonna be absolutely buzzing there's also a big survey at the minute so do that if you haven't already done it lots of interesting things in there and um, I've seen some great locations are asking about so I'm guessing that one of those locations might be a new map to come for Call of Wild, so make sure you do that survey. It's in your own interest, and like I say, the most popular things will probably happen. Uh, there's talk of dogs and vehicles, new uh, content locations, new map locations, so make sure you check that survey out because that could be your next map, your next vehicle, your next weapon, next animal. Do you know what I mean? It's really important, so check that out now. It's on social media. Uh, channels. I can also link it if we need to. Let's go and have a look at these we just shot. What's your favourite bird hunting in Colorado? Drop that in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. We shot diamonds for every bird species apart from Canada geese, so that's why I'm coming for them. I want to get diamonds for every species in Sasiki Safari Tree for Dogs. That's a tall order, but we've got a lot of them already. Like I say, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, check them out previously. I'm always going after trophies, and I'm trying to make my Sasiki Safari Tree for Dogs the best in Call of the Wild. That's a hard task to do, but we're getting there, and we've got some really great trophies already. 
you want me to go after a certain species drop it in the comments and like i say i'm going to cover every species in call of wild also do the videos for the hunter classic and if you want to see anything for that also drop that in the comments so we've got a few golds here they're nothing special for me i want diamonds and i want rares but we're just shooting the fours which make the golds uh, because we want them to hopefully respawn as diamonds that's the thinking behind it and that's why we do it so in we get right next lot come on geese what you've been hunting this week have you had any big trophies drop that in the comments always like to know what you've been after whether it's call of wild or the hunt classic it's always great feeling when you get a nice trophy you've been after for a long time i got a really big diamond mule there check that out if you haven't seen it last week been after uh, a different style of uh, true racks diamond uh, mule deer that we didn't get the one we wanted but so i'm still on the grind for that also the really nice uh, animal this morning uh, i'm not gonna say what that was but that'll be in a video to come uh, quite surprising but i changed my time and visited one of my favorite hotspots and when i jumped there i was like whoa what, what are you doing here because that wouldn't normally be there at that time of day at that location so it just shows you try different locations with different times and you can get different results it's uh sometimes you can get stuck in the same old loop of just doing what you're doing and if that don't work change that loop change the times change it up and sometimes you get the results you're after so quite a few falls about amongst the group come on diamonds where are you at in between my mule deer hunting i've been hunting for the great one as well that's been going all right we've had quite a few diamonds check those videos out if you've already seen them it's been going really well we had a diamond coat as well while i was hunting for the great one so the diamonds have been flowing we've been getting lots of good trophy animals and we're just looking for a diamond goose today come on ron <laughs> This is what I mean about using the 22 LR all the time. Let's try and keep that distance dialed in. For beginners, when you first start using it and you start shooting long ranges, it can seem a little daunting. But if you start shooting a bit regular for mallards, ducks, and turkey, whatever, over distance, you get the drop right. And you can just ping lots of animals. And it's one of the most underrated guns in the game. It's one of my favorites now, actually. Never used to use it much, but once I got the hang of it, I loved it. Here we go, we've got a rare one there, it's a brown hybrid, that's a gold Canada goose. If it had been a diamond, I'd have stuck him in Sasiki Safari Trophy Lodge, but he isn't, so he's not going in. Diamonds only run. Right, let's get this other one. Let's get back in the old canoe, the layout blind. He does look like a canoe, I wonder if you could actually <laughs> use it on the water. You might do for a few meters before you sink. <laughs> It would be cool to have boats though in Call of Wild. There was teased about that with um, Quattro Kalinas. There was a boat bit on that uh, where you could get in one. But uh, I would love a boat. Certain reserves, it would actually help save crossing over and stuff. So, a few more golds. Hopefully, some of these respawn as diamonds. We could do with a few diamonds, to be honest. There's a few locations in Tzatziki Swai Trophy Lodge where I'd like to add something different than rabbits. Um, you know what I mean? The, the normal small plaque animals. And it would be good if you could mix it up with different animals. They have recently changed some of this so you can add like seeker deer and um, some other things on those. But it would be nice if we could mix up the variation of smaller animals. Because there's only so many things you can put on the smaller plaques. And you don't want to have all the same animals of the same kind on those trophy packs it would be nice if we could have some new multi mounts as well that's been talked about quite a bit on the hunter discord recently as well so what i normally do is once i've shoot a few i'll change the time up get back in my canoe and then uh, we'll sit down for a little bit longer you can also fast travel other places come back to this location and like i say you do get a lot of flavor shooting loads of money in the bank all right, let's get back in the layout blind, and I keep calling it a canoe boat. That's all I think of when I sit in it, I don't know why. Let's have a look at where we're situated, this location. So if you want to hunt Canada geese, you know how to do it. Now, 20 decoys around in a circle at this location. This is how I've got them set up. 500 meters is the attraction range that lures them in. I'm not even calling the geese, I've just got them circled around. I'm on a little bit of a hill, 
there's my layout line this is the location now if you haven't got a tent you can start from here Schoenfeld Eastern Outpost and you can just walk to where my setup is I've got a tent here for ease of doing that but it's not a very far run if you have to do it and that's where we're situated we're on a little raised hill and the reason for that is so you've got good aerial visibility it's quite open and you can see all around so it's a great location and a lot of geese fly over it I've got a very detailed video um, from a few years ago if you want to check that out um, on this location but it is I've, I've come here and it still works so that's the point of it so hopefully that helps you find a Canada goose so we've been having lots of action but we've only been having gold so let's have a look at this flock see what we've got got another gold there a two a two a five that's what we're after so we've got our first potential diamond Canada goose I've hit it come on drop down I'm not going to mess about with this, we're going to get straight out and go and collect it. Fingers crossed, it's a diamond can of the goose. Must say I've really enjoyed coming back to Hirschfeld and goose hunting. I'm going to have to get some more of these anyway. It is our first diamond can of the goose. It's a male, 9.19 kilograms. There you go, 9.10 in score. Definitely going to taxidermise that and we're going to add it to Tzatziki Safari Trophy Lodge. So happy about that. It's nice to get a new diamond species for Tzatziki Safari Trophy Lodge and one I haven't shot before. So that's another tick on the old trophy box <laughs> on the hunting list. One ticked off the list. Right, Tzatziki Safari Trophy Lodge. Here we are. Open the door. Let me in. Let's have a look where we're going to put this new diamond Canada goose. As you can see, lots of hours have gone into this and it's filling up nicely. Some of these recent trophies in here, especially like the, the Postal Best Diamond True Rex Mule Deer, Diamond Jackal, Diamond Coyotes, Diamonds everywhere. It's coming together really nice. Diamond Melanistic White Tail, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Fingers crossed, it may happen. Diamond Alley here, I've been working on this a lot recently as a lot of you will know from recent videos all diamonds down here diamond red deer brothers at the bottom really nice racks they match symmetrical but this is what we're trying to work on today and this is why I went diamond goose hunting for these plaques here now I might get another one to fit on the left but today we've got one for the right so diamond Canada goose that's where you're going hopefully get one for the left we may swap this around Drop in the comments what you think I should go for. But today we've been Canada Goose hunting on Call of Wild. We've got a Diamond Canada Goose. So happy about it. I'm Ron Richie. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.